today we're going to have a look at some really cool spots some communities with their own private beaches and we're starting now I'm Lisa Salt with Remax Vernon Salt Valor. Today we're going to have a tour around the area. We're going to look at where are the communities that have their own private beach access on Okanagan Lake. We're going to look down the Okanagan Landing side, we're going to look down the Tronson side, and we're also going to look down west side. But before we do, please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video as we're posting new videos every single week. On this channel, we give you the straight goods on Vernon, the whole Okanagan, and the Shushwap, our ultimate Four Seasons paradise. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, or just curious about the area that we call home, be sure to call, text, and email, just to add salt. If you want to live on the lake, or be close to living on the lake and have beach access, but don't want to pay lakefront prices or lakefront taxes, maybe one of these communities is for you. Let us know if you have interest in any one of these communities or any community around the North Okanagan. We're happy to help. In the meantime, download our free Vernon Relocation Package. The link is below. Most people don't even know these private community beaches exist. And if you're looking to relocate to the Vernon or within the Vernon area, and you want a way to have lake access for a fraction of the cost, buying a property in one of these communities may be exactly what you're looking for. So grab your sunscreen and let's dive in. Our first stop is Beachcomber Bay beach in the Bella Vista Adventure Bay area around Okanagan Lake. This one is a hidden gem with not one, but two beach accesses. The first access is open to the public, although probably if you don't live right in that neighborhood, you may not even know that that exists. There's a shared beach area and there's a boat launch, a sitting area, etc. Anyone can use that public beach, although as with almost all of the public beach accesses, the parking generally sucks but buy a non-Lakeshore house on Beachcomber Bay Road and then you will have a 1 11th share of the other private Beachcomber Bay community beach and then you've really got yourself an affordable little piece of almost Lakeshore paradise. This second particular beach is gated and it has private access and of course is only available to those owners who share that 1 11th interest in the private Lakeshore lot. It has its own 120 foot beach area, grassy space, picnic tables, barbecue area. It's actually a nice spot for families to relax and enjoy summer. And it's just a few minutes down the road from where you live. And your cost to own that 1 11th share, I'm told is around $100 for your share of the yearly maintenance and then only 250 to 285 a year, which is your share of the property taxes. Pretty good deal to get access to the water with only 10 others to share with. Now a little farther down the road and right into the Adventure Bay sub area is the community beach associated with the terraces development. This particular development is built on the hill with a really amazing views down Okanagan Lake. It's some of my favorite views really. They are spectacular. And then the little bonus is this shared area at the bottom of this, it's kind of a brutal goat trail actually. Like don't forget your beer because you will just go without by the time you get there. You're not walking all the way back to your vehicle, which realistically you're probably not going to walk from your house to the beach. You're gonna drive down and then find somewhere to park and then walk down and then hang out for the day to make it worth your while to walk up again. It's nice to have though. I mean, the residents of this subdivision do have exclusive access to the area. And there's a wharf, a kilometer of shoreline right along Okanagan Lake. It's a, it's a really nice little perk when you live there. Then even further down, we come to Canadian Lakeview Estates, further into Adventure Bay. Now that's a big development that's right at the end of Tronson Road, as far as you can go. It's a huge community, actually. It's got a number of bare land strata areas, townhouses, and lots and lots of freehold houses. Many of them with also like exceptional, beautiful lake views. Now this whole area comes with access to the community beach area with its boat launch. It's got a large swimming wharf, picnic tables, men's and ladies change rooms, washrooms. You can park your boat on the buoy if there's room. And then there's a swimming area with a diving dock. This beach itself is also about a kilometer long. Now it's a bit of a pull to get down there as well. However, this time it's by a paved road with decent access. It's really a nice beach area there, really nice for the community. Great to have your own boat launch for sure. Next up, we're gonna head over to the other side of the lake and we're gonna go to Delcliffe. That's on the Okanagan landing side. And Delcliffe is a beauty of an area. I would, it's super, super popular. I would say it's possibly and probably the most popular location on the north end of Okanagan Lake. 
It's popular because of its private exclusive bay location with these beautiful red sandy beaches. It's just unreal. Now many of the homes here are on the lake, of course, however, some are not, and they go for a lot less on the mo open market. And then similar to the Beachcomber Bay situation, Delcliffe actually has two beaches. One's a public beach access with like no parking, and then another private community beach. Now this beach here is aptly named Red Sand Beach. It's the public one. It's beautiful recently been developed it used to exist there and pretty much no one knew about it except for everybody in the subdivision although again where do you park and how do you get there i don't know it's in the cove of the peninsula known as cameron point nice here with the big willow trees and that beautiful rensad beach and this whole cove is pretty shallow too which is nice however if you buy a house in the community of delcliffe you then get access to this other private community shared beach that is not open to the public with 280 feet of private beach. Again, with that beautiful red sandy beach and it's in that same kind of shallow cove. This is fantastic. And again, it's for a fraction of the price of the Lakeshore homes in the same neighborhood. It's about a three minute walk over there from the community. So no big deal. And you will love, love, love it here. Then for our fourth community beach, we're gonna head across the lake again, but not to Adventure Bay side. We're gonna go to the west side. The first we run into is Parker Cove. But Parker Cove is our only non-freehold community that we're talking about today. Parker Cove is a government registered lease on native land, and it's a popular lakeshore community located, and you know, a bit out of town from downtown Vernon to Parker Cove, you're around 30 minutes. Parker Cove itself has like 600 residential lots on about 100 acres and then the big shared beach of over 2200 linear feet for all the community. They have a boat launch, a picnic area, children's playground, equipment, sand, volleyball courts, horseshoe pit. I don't ever see this beach overly crowded either, so it's a nice community to have beach access in, I think. Then last but not least, another seven minutes down West Side Road towards Kelowna from Parker Cove, or let's just say 36 minutes from downtown Vernon, we come to Killiney Beach, which is another small lakeside community. This community is freehold property though, there's no leased land here. Beach has a lot of history. Actually, back in the day, it was called Spruill's Landing, which was a stop for the stern wheelers, the steamships of Okanagan Lake. Some stops along the lake, including this stop, the Spruill's Landing stop, were unscheduled, and the ships would only stop at these smaller areas now and then. In fact, if you wanted to request the SS Sycamus to make an unscheduled stop during its trip down between Vernon and Penticton, the residents would need to stand on the shore waving a white flag during the day or light two bonfires at night. I guess that was pretty effective. Anyway, the beach after that was then named after Killiney Hill in Dublin, Ireland, and it offers up a very cool place for a family picnic, swimming, boating, water sports. The park features a boathouse with a dock, a boat launch, sandy beach, outhouses, horseshoe pit, and four coves with picnic tables along the parking spaces and a really nice place to swim. And that concludes our tour of these five amazing community beaches in the North Okanagan. From private lakeshore lots to shared beach areas, each beach offers its own unique charm and recreational opportunities. And this is of course, in addition to the other public beaches and parks that are so popular in our area. So if you're planning a move to the North Okanagan and wanna be on the lake without paying a fortune, don't forget to check out these fantastic beach destinations. Till next time, happy beach hopping.